back with another one, man. Hey, it's been a while since we made a video together. But today, we finna talk about the top five worst engines. Since I'm a Chevy man, I'm gonna do the top five worst Chevys. He's a Ford man, he gonna do the top, top five worst Fords. So hey, y'all stay tuned, y'all let us know what y'all think. God is everything, without God, I'm nothing. We finna jump straight into it. So naturally, this is a Ford man. He grew up Ford, 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 Ford. Naturally, I'm a Chevy man. I grew up Chevy, 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 Chevy. Now, I deviated from my roots a little bit because I do got a Ford right here. I also got a Dodge. So I, I, I deviated from those roots a little bit. He didn't. He still a diehard Ford man. He still think whatever Ford make it good. Right, don't you think, right? I didn't say all that. Yep, hey. Hey, I, I didn't say all that. I love all the other mates, Chevy, Dodge and all that. I just I just haven't went and got all these other cars yet. So it's coming soon though. We'll see. Let let let's start with we, we, we ain't gonna give them the worst engine. So I'ma say I I think the number five. My number five is the 305 V8. And I know what y'all are saying. The, the 305 V8 was a reliable engine. Okay, I, I won't disagree with that, all right? But I say for it to be a 305, it was very underpowered. That was practically nothing you could do to them to make them powerful, man. But, you know, compared to Ford 302, that 305 wasn't gonna hold up. I'll be honest about that. So, number five, I'm probably gonna say the Ford. 0.62 so those motors they are good for blowing the spark plug out of the head especially when they get up in high mileage so that that was one of the biggest problems and i'm not saying it's just a terrible engine but they can they can have that problem if you don't take care of it, you know what i'm saying okay. coming in at number four we got the 2.8 v6 that they put in the S10s, Blazers, in like the, I think I think early 90s, 80s. Man, listen, I got a whole story behind this, right? So, my daddy had a Blazer, right, with a 2.8 in it. He had boom in it, it was clean, it was orange, had rims on it. Um, but, when it, when it was time to go up a hill, it couldn't go. Like, my daddy literally had to back up and get momentum to, to go up a hill. My granddaddy stays, in, in a yard, his, his, his driveway is a very steep. We couldn't get out of the driveway. We couldn't get out of the driveway. And that was a V6 in there, man. And, and we little kids at this point now. I'm not, a, I'm not a grown man. It ain't a lot of weight in there now. It's my daddy and his little bitty kids. I remember though, we couldn't get out the driveway. So that come in at number four. So my number four, I think I'm gonna actually take one off. Put this one on. Okay, okay. Okay, so this engine is not necessarily like not a reliable engine, but it's very on the power, especially when you turn the AC on. And this engine is the 2.3 liter, the engines that are in the, the Fox bodies and the Ford Rangers. So it, hold on, hold on. Foxy got 2.3 and I don't 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 disrespect my car. Okay, but when you turn the AC on. Don't disrespect my car. But when you turn the AC on, you you, Foxy, you can't you can Foxy will turn them over. Foxy will turn them over with the AC on. It don't even matter. Man, that that ain't the point. Okay, all right, all right. My bad. My bad. I I, I came in on him, but he ain't finna disrespect my car and my car sitting right here. That what he ain't finna do. Hey, it, it's 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 the truth though. You can't deny the truth. Okay. All right. Yeah, man, like, yeah, but anyway, like, like I'm saying, the 2.3, especially when you turn the AC on, they are very, they, they lose a lot of power. And especially when it's a, a stick shift car, it's, it's kind of hard to even pull off. Sometimes they'll cut off. <laughs> I had that Typical Ford stuff, man. Typical that's, Ford stuff, bro. It. They hard, it, it's hard, it is hard to tell with 2.3 liter Ford engine, but. They just don't got no power. Coming in at number three. And I'm coming in at number three because of him. I'm coming in at number three because of him. The 2.2 S10, right? <laughs> so this man bought a 2.3 S10, right? Oh. I, 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 and, and I got a story for a lot of this stuff now. He bought a 2.3 S10, right? And when he bought it, his daddy asked him, what motor in that truck, boy? He said, uh, four cylinder. 
Before he even got that hit, Dad told him, boy, that boy, that don't run, boy. That don't run. He got a hill. He they worked on it for a while. Blah blah blah. This and that. They were trying to. He was trying to decide what to do to it. He bought another S10 with a 2.2 in it. And lo and behold, it don't run either. That don't run either. It don't run. Got to mighty no boy. I don't know. Hey, that's your way for you know. No, no, no. no. I, 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 I think that's something. I think what it is is. The Chevrolet know, okay, I'm going to a Ford man, right? He gonna mistreat me, blah, blah, blah. Um, but look though, hey, I gave him a better idea. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this idea. I told him to take that S10, even though I'm a Chevy man, right? I said, take it, LS swap it, or I said small block Ford swap it. Link it down in the I comments, tell him, tell him what he need to do. Link it down there, cause that. he, link it down there now, tell him what he need to do. But that's, but that's my number three. My number three, I'm gonna say, I don't think I mentioned this. The 5.4 three valve. Oh motor. Yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Now these these engines, they they will they will go 300, 400 thousand miles. Oh yeah. But I've seen some where they would go to tapping around 200 thousand miles and you would have to replace the timing chain, the guys and all that. I think I might have seen one even blow spark plug out of here. Oh, that's another thing. The spark plugs, they, when you try to take them out and they'll break. You know. what, what engine was that that had the cam phase? Was them Coyote? One of them engines kept having nah. cam, oh, it was a cam phase issue. That was a Coyote, I think. He, he was either that or the, or the three bad. Oh. I, I, I didn't know if it was Coyote or whatever, but I remember somebody kept saying something about cam phase, cam phase, cam phase. So, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with y'all about this one. Now, if, if you know about this engine, I just did a little bit of research on it. But uh, they said, I, I, I got this one off Google. The rest of them were from experience. But the 2.5 Iron Duke, 2.5 Iron Duke was a four cylinder engine that they put in like the Camaros, the uh, the four eyed Camaros. Uh, what are they, third gens? Third gens of Camaros. They, dumb engines, they said those were the worst oil leaking engines in the world personally i have no personal experience with a 2.5 iron duke i just put it on my list but that's what they say that's what, that's what they say i don't know nothing about it uh, number two i got the 6.4 liter diesel that comes in the f-250s and f-350s now i haven't done the research necessarily but now i see more 6.0 inches run better than the, the 6.4 liter engine. So that's that's pretty much what I take because I can't I can't really remember what, what the problem was. But everyone that I seen with a 6.4 liter, the truck is always in the shop. As a matter of fact, I know like two or three people that has like two diesel trucks that has 6.4 liters. Like, yeah, you, you better off just getting rid of the truck and going to find, I would rather have a 6.0 than a 6.4. What, 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 what year did you say that was when? That's around the year 2008, that, that, that body style. I, th I, I, I thought I seen some people talking about the 6.7s too. Okay, so that, I think that might've came around with. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it, it, that was fairly new. That might've been 12 or 13 or something. Yeah. I remember, uh, Those did have a problem too. Yeah. Yeah. Now the, I remember a guy got one, he posted on Facebook. They jumped in the comment section, they were like, bruh, get rid of it now. Yeah, yeah. It's, now all, all, all diesels are gonna have problems. Oh yeah. That one specifically has a lot of problems. And coming in at number one, y'all go ahead and drop drop in the comment section what y'all think the number one is for the Chevrolet. Not not let, let me get some let me get some clarification done here now. This ain't necessarily a Chevrolet, but it's a GM product. What y'all think it is? Good. I'm gonna give y'all a second. Put that down in the comment. All right, here we go. The Cadillac North Star, man. Listen, boy. Listen, boy. Look, if you go buy a Cadillac, somebody gonna ask you. It got that North Star engine in it. It got that North Star engine in it. They gonna ask you that because boy, them engines had so many head gasket problems. It don't make no sense. They had problems. Everything, man. So I, I got a store for that. I got a store for that, right? So 
my granddaddy is getting a little older, right? So the children, my granddaddy's children decide, oh, we're going to go get our daddy a Cadillac, right? So lo and behold, they come with the uh, Cadillac North Star. They don't consult with nobody. They just say, hey, we're going to get a Cadillac North Star. Or they didn't say the North Star. They just said, oh, yeah, we got your granddaddy a Cadillac. I went up there. I looked at it. I said, oh, that's that North Star right there. Pop the hood, lo and behold, it said Cadillac North Star. I said, he ain't gonna have it long. I think maybe like the next week, turn it back in. Uh uh. I think it, I, this one was used now. This one was used. It had, had it, pretty low mileage on it though, but he turned it back in, man, because he couldn't keep all of it. It was leaking all like like crazy. This one didn't have, it didn't do no head gasket. It was just blowing, it was just leaking all. They took it back to the dealership, dealership. Give us, give us a few weeks. Let us, let us work on it. Let us, let us fix it. And and I think before that, it took them a while to get it because that was something the dealer needed to fit on, fix on. Once he took it back, dealership just said, "Hey, man, we just gonna give y'all y'all money back on this thing." So <laughs> that's number one right now. So I'm willing to bet you that they are not gonna expect what I'm gonna say for my number one. It's a lot of four inches out there. But anyway, the the 3.9 liter that's in the Lincoln LS, man, oh my God, I, I've seen that, those cars had had to replace the engine. The they known for running hot. Then they said it was a Jaguar engine or something. Or yeah, like so or something. they they also put those same engines in in some of the Jaguars. Oh, that was in the Jaguar. Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. yeah. Four 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 got some. Some of their inches in, in some Jaguar. Oh, okay. I, I just I'm, can't remember. She told me something. Yeah, but the Lincoln LS and man, if if you have one, you already know. They know. You got they know. Yeah, you they already know. know. Hey, I was working with his daddy around the time them Lincoln was popular, and when they came, I was like, oh god, I know we finna have to do a motor swap on this bitch. I already know. We finna do a motor swap on this thing, man. I already knew it. Please stay away from them Lincoln LS. Telling you, this, this is your warning. All right, man, y'all link down below. Tell us what y'all want to see next. And to see my previous video, where I did a ride reaction in a big block cougar, click right here. Click it, click it. You ain't clicked it yet. Go ahead and click it. You, Cause if you looking at me, you ain't clicked it yet. Click it, right now.